This is a short little video to introduce you to the technique of alternate nostril breathing, or in Sanskrit, Nadi Shodhana. So taking your dominant hand, whichever that hand is for you, and either bringing your index finger and middle finger down towards the palm of your hand, or placing those two fingers on your third eye. We're removing them from the equation, so the um, ring finger and thumb can be involved with the nostrils and the pinky can be extended for elegance <laughs> if you would like. Um, I'm going to fold my fingers down. That's the way I practice this, but you're also welcome to place them on your third eye if you'd like. And then you have a nostril that will be used on with your thumb and then a nostril that will be closed and opened with your ring finger. So if you pinch both of those, you'd close your nostrils, both of them. So we're going to start just by pressing in with the thumb and breathing in through the ring finger nostril. And then pinching off, releasing the thumb and exhaling out the thumb side. And then staying here, inhale. Pressing in with the thumb, exhale, release the ring finger. Let's do that again. Inhale, ring finger. Press in, release the thumb, exhale. Stay here, inhale, thumb. Press in with the thumb, exhale, ring finger, side releasing. So continuing to do this back and forth, and you're always going to switch nostrils when your breath is held in. One round of this is two breaths. So you get back to the nostril you started on. So you can continue to do this while I'm talking. I just can't talk very well and do it at the same time. So alternate nostril breathing balances the hemispheres of the brain, the right and left hemispheres of the brain. It balances the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems, bringing the parasympathetic, usually what happens is the parasympathetic nervous system is shut off and the nervous system is like on hyper alert and helps to nourish that balance there. And in the yogic tradition, we can also see that this balances the lunar and the solar channels, um, the energy of the masculine and the feminine. So alternate nostril breathing is really helpful to do when you need to be really clear in your thinking, when you want to be ready for work or um, for a deep conversation, or to have some brainstorming. Using different ratios with alternate nostril breathing can also be really helpful. So one thing that I ask my clients to do frequently who are having trouble sleeping or winding down at the end of the day is to do alternate nostril breathing in the evening or perhaps right before bed that has a ratio of one to two. So the inhale is maybe a count of four and the exhale is to a count of eight or you could do six to twelve so that the exhale is what is really drawn out so let's try that together if you're still breathing great let's try this ratio so we're going to inhale one two three four and then exhale to a count of eight one two three four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to do that without talking because I have air coming out my mouth, which I don't want. So together, inhale to four, exhale to eight. Again, inhale four. Exhale, eight. 
So this inward counting also gives your mind something to rest upon if you feel like you are running around like a crazy monkey in your mind. That counting can be really helpful too. So ratio of one to two to calm the nervous system and prepare for sleep or prepare to be calm during any kind of interaction or work event. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know. I'm Hannah Levin from heartfeltwellbeing.com. Take care.